Welcome to QLM Business News. And now for today's news stories. Bernie Eccleston admits guilt in £400 million tax fraud case. Bernie Eccleston, the former Formula One Supremo, has confessed to fraudulent actions that resulted in a suspended sentence. The 92-year-old billionaire admitted to withholding information from tax authorities in 2015 regarding more than £400 million stashed in a trust based in Singapore. As part of a civil agreement, Eccleston has undertaken to reimburse HM Revenue and Customs, HMRC, approximately £653 million. His sentence comprises 17 months of incarceration, suspended for two years. Originally, Eccleston had entered a not guilty plea and was slated for trial next month. This settlement encompasses Eccleston's tax affairs for the previous 18 years, including civil penalties and interest. The court was informed that Eccleston convened with HMRC officers in July 2015, with the intention of concluding investigations into his tax affairs due to his frustration over hefty advisory bills. During this meeting, he had asserted that he solely possessed a single trust, established on behalf of his daughters. However, it transpired, through a comprehensive HMRC investigation that had a global reach, that his statement was false. The tax authorities had previously characterized this probe as intricate and spanning the globe. In a Southwark Crown Court appearance on Thursday, Bernie Eccleston, accompanied by his wife Fobiana, pleaded guilty to the charges. He only addressed the judge to admit his guilt and confirm basic personal details. Eccleston seemed frail as he rose to speak before the court. His legal team argued against imprisonment, citing his advanced age, medical conditions, and low risk to the public. His defense lawyer, Christine Montgomery, expressed Eccleston's profound remorse for the circumstances leading to this criminal trial. Prosecutor Richard Wright asserted in court that Eccleston knowingly provided a false or deceptive response to HMRC when he claimed he had no additional trusts outside the UK. He remarked, as of July 7, 2015, Mr. Eccleston did not know the truth of the situation, so he could not answer the question. Wright explained that Eccleston was not entirely clear about the structure of the accounts in question and was uncertain about their tax liability. Eccleston now concedes that he should not have given the responses he did, as it jeopardized the ongoing investigation into his financial matters. He recognizes the tax liability associated with the matters under scrutiny. This news story is brought to you by QLM Business News, your digital media channel. Visit qlmbusinessnews.com. For more business news stories also follow us on Facebook, X and YouTube. To help QLM Business News bring you more news stories like this, please like, share and subscribe.